Well, hello, my dear companions. Welcome to Season, a letter to the future. This is our next adventure game series. I'm so excited. When I first saw the announcement of this game, I was blown away by how it looked and the feeling of it. And as you know, I play a lot of different games on this channel, but the games that I enjoy the most to play uh, on my own are open world or, you know, exploration games, kinda, uh, where most of the story is told via the music and the world itself. Uh, by the way, I record this early in the morning, so that's why I sound a bit raspy, but yeah, this is gonna be a chill adventure game. And it takes place in a world where we play as a young woman. Uh, she has been brought up in a secluded village all her life. And for the first time, she's uh, venturing outside of that village, out into the world, because a, a, a cataclysm is coming that will wash everything away. It will be the end of the world. And she wants to learn about the world before it ends. The people in it, the surroundings, and she will have conversations, take pictures, and understand the world before it ends. I know it sounds a bit vague, but I'm so excited. Hope you brought your favorite snacks, your favorite blanket. Let's do this. Boom. And the arch style looks beautiful. You're gonna see. And when I when I upload this, the game is gonna be just released. So check it out. The character we see in the book is the one we're gonna play as. Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but oh. you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our wow. lives changed overnight. Just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. A new Everyone era? Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? So he there are still voices is in the future, and laughing in the wilderness, finding her journal before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So I asked if I could leave. The elder had one condition for letting me go that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. Okay. I hope that's where you're reading this now. Yeah, possibly. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. Okay. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room and I can hear my mom's voice. Looks beautiful. Okay, pass, what, what, what do we have here? Unviewed, concluded, what? 
Index. What? Okay. What? What? What is this? Past season. Golden season. The war season of. Okay. There we go. I'm actually playing with the controller now. I put in my controller and hope that works. Because I recorded this as I said before the game is released, because I got the key from the developers, kindly enough. Catacomb of Strangers. And they recommend using a. My bag and dad's camera. Ready cool. for the great departure. Because we're just leaving. Um. Uh... What do we have here? Hope you like him more than you like to fish. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna learn the controls as we go along. Uh, oh, Bill. Look at this. But this is the village. I want to get to go on to the journey, so let's let's leave. There's so much to explore, so I want you to actually check out the game yourselves. Uh, absorb the moments. You can just literally sit there and just enjoy the moments. I hope there are a lot of those kind of things throughout the game. But good morning, Mom. You're up. Yep. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still gotta make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body. So they're preparing. Oh, everyone is okay with us leaving. An identity pendant protects your mind, your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore, but if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shield in you. I guess so. Uh, don't worry, Mom. I will worry until you're gone, and then I'll have total confidence in you. <laughs> in times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> Uh, let's skip that part. Yeah. <laughs> Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. I like that it had feel as a sense. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless. At least. Let's try. Okay, so. <clears throat> this old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember... You and I fell asleep. I like how it's slowly introducing us into this world. I can't wait to explore the world when we leave the village. Your dad came home. Let's close your eyes and listen. We all rested together until it got dark. Would, oh, we're literally gonna burn it. <laughs> that is a pendant we're gonna use on our travels. What an odd feeling. Like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in. Yeah. Until I forget that I forgot anything at all. I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. 
I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. I mean, is she literally losing her memories? And we're going to have it in the so pendant? So they should be important to you. They should be parts of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about That is you. an actually interesting way of thinking about things. If you could choose a few objects in your surrounding or in your, your life that really represents you, what would you pick? Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. Oh, okay. Dried candy. Hmm. Ginger drink? No, no. Oh, oh, can I take... Granite. Seaside. Darkness. This speaks to how my mom loves me. H oh, that's our fingerprint. Let's pick it. The what seaside. Did you choose for smell. Let's breathe in deep. <sighs> oh, I remember it so well. It's not as bad now, but in the old days, not many children live long enough to grow up. Wow. We believed if a child could make it to the age of nine, they'd be all right. Okay, I this guess. This was made of your hand when you turned nine. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had a healthy girl. Was it that big of a deal? No deep fear have inside a healthy of me child. finally went away. <laughs> and we saw you would just keep growing and growing. That everything was going to be okay. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Okay. Uh, texture, texture. I would like some kind of Wax, wood, maybe. Soft, ancient wall. Uh, I was loved by people I have no memory of. Ah, uh, I would like some kind of wooden thing. So beautiful this game. Let's check our room. Uh, go with this ceramic animal. I like that actually. Cool, scratchy palm grains. A friend gave me this a long time ago. Let's go with that. <clears throat> I don't know how much this matters. So what did you end up choosing? Okay, feel the surface. The cool stone. I remember. This was in the months after your father passed. Oh yeah, I, I, I felt like maybe he might be gone. He didn't seem sad, but you just weren't interested in anything. It was hard to know what to do. One day... You and your friend Pate went fishing. Pate? Okay, that's our friend, okay. We didn't catch anything, of course. But when I was putting away your bucket, we found this creature there. Pate had dropped it in without you noticing. I remember how it made you smile. Hmm. And I felt, oh, no matter how much things have changed, I will get to see my little girl smile again. That's nice. I wonder if the world is literally ending. As you saw in the very beginning there with a, a book. I'm going to see if I can find it again. Um, with the seasons. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that that looks nice. Uh, I mean, the spoon looked nice. Where was it? Ah, okay, not that nice. 
Let's check our room again. In this series, I'm gonna take it slow and you're gonna like it or not. I don't really care because I love it so far. Uh, insect husk or bill. <laughs> I mean. Money. I always had the intuition the world could change completely. Hmm. Insect husk. Poisoned. Blue. Shine. I look closely. Let's pick that. Pick that. Looks beautiful. So, what did you end up choosing? When you were a little kid and I'd wash your pants, I'd check the pockets and find all kinds of little things you'd collected off I the I like ground. how all these things are just connected to a memory Locks, like this. leaves, bits of string, and bugs. It happened less and less as you got older. But I remember the afternoon I found this beautiful blue beetle in your pocket. I thought, oh, this might be the last time. And this dead insect suddenly became Talked with the developers. so precious to me. And the game takes around 6 to 12 hours to complete, uh, depending on how you explore the world and um, how how slow you are, if you say so. What is it in young eyes that imbue every small thing with meaning? Why do we lose this? I don't think you ever did. <laughs> For taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. That's nice. What are I having for breakfast? Porridge? <clears throat> what do you eat for breakfast, by the way? I usually don't eat much for Memory breakfast nowadays. Right now. During the weekends, I like to have you know, like, like brunch and such. Toast and, you know, all kind of th things. I want you to have it forever. I like this little ritual. What are they drinking? It's exactly like a soup. Here, you're having a last taste of home. Oh. There we have it. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck. That's this nice. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. Never. Never. And never tamper with it. Never. Of course. Okay. Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. Yeah. It's time to gather them up. If you've seen the trailer for this game, it looks incredible. Can I bring stuff with me, by the way, if I pick the origami? Folded by Pate. <laughs> okay, so now actually leaving. I know this is going to be a slow start, but hey, it's a beautiful game. Stay a little bit longer. I think a lot of this game will be about, you know, having the option to stay in the moment. I love that. We're going to have a silent protagonist. I've lost so much. Oh, don't say that just as we're going to leave. How could the world ask me to lose you too? Take a picture of her. Yes. Yes. Am I doing anything? No. I, 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 I didn't do anything. There we are. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning. Hmm. Oh. I 
I like how the game takes its time to introduce things to us. I really enjoy that. Poem Lever. Wow! I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. Keepsake. Goodbye ritual quotes. Goodbye ritual decorations. Nice, I guess we're gonna collect things along the way. How do I... How do I leave? <laughs> or do I need to pick something, by the way? Oh, I need to... Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna literally have to put it in here. I see. How do I scale it? Okay, okay. Oh, we're gonna have to have a lot of things, I guess. We're literally making our own journal. I love it. We put it there. You can, you can stay down there. Nice. <laughs> I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and this give it a This is so different. A I love it. I the love it. This journal is a ritual too. But for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. If I read a quote, a future, my mother, last member, protect my family. I'm gonna have to use shape into story, find a smile before I. Friend can break through a shadow of grief with a moment of kindness. That's nice. Oh, I love this. The future will hear what I heard and see what I see. Um, we can add, we can turn page page two. So many things. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, you buy ritual decorations. Like, <laughs> I know this might be silly, but I kind of love it that you can do this kind of stuff. I think that's nice. <laughs> I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. Aim at the source. Oh, that's nice. Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When it's the like music, a music ends, player. The village will begin oh, that to is wake cool. up. Can I record something more? Plenty of fresh water here. I wonder if it's more scarce in the outside world. I can take a picture. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. Last night there was a goodbye party here in the park. Everyone trying to was learn so the controls. <laughs> to I was afraid. That fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Doctor Fumio. Okay. I can take a picture of him. 
I love this, by the way. I'm gonna have a picture of this. Focus distance. I see. Last night, my friends wrote down their hopes for my trip and tied them to the branches of this tree. Have a picture of him. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. Okay. Look at this. So I guess I can collect these too. I don't know if I need to collect these things. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. Do I? Gosh, look at this game. Maybe I need to collect these things. Smells like an old man's toes dipped in cinnamon. <laughs> I had to drink this gross potion last night. I have this, by the way. This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. And I can collect that, I guess. There we go. So do I need to collect these things? We have a two people there. I have no idea what these are. Wow. Okay. Let's look around and see if we can find where to go. I love how this game tells a beautiful story with just the visuals and the the sounds, especially. Oh, here, the mural. Maybe I'm supposed to take picture of these. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. Time misperception? Okay. Oh, I see another mural, I think. Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Yeah. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. What by cure memory excess? What? I guess I can find I guess you can find peace in not knowing everything. <laughs> I wish I could tell you more about this poster, but I never thought to ask what it means. Inspiration. Now we both never know what it means. Oh well. Place enough keeps like to unlock an inspiration. Okay. The village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. Yes, so strange so. to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. We can add these things. I don't know. I don't think we have to add every single thing. I like how you can decorate your journal. It's making you're literally making your own memories through this. I 
don't know if we're going the right way, but let's go. Sorry guys, I had to take a pick. This is beautiful. You can take whatever pick you want. Sorry. And you can pretty much just add it into your journey if you want to. Love it. Love it. Recording the things you feel, uh, have there. Ah, let's go. This is a beautiful area. Wow. Seven ten. Okay. Carol Village was founded during the modernity. Much later, Doctor Fumio arrived and remade it in his image. Okay, so he was not from here. Pick a flower. This flower means you're in my thoughts. That's nice. The morning after the search was called off for Dad, our doorstep was covered in them. Oh. Can we just add piece of the flower? Can add it like here. <laughs> I know this kind of feels silly in a way, but I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Because many games where you have a journal, you pretty much just feels like unlocking an achievement. But here you can actually add whatever you want, and yeah. Anything. Anything you feel like are important for you and the future. This was a bigger village than I thought. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. Oh. <laughs> Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. This is so peaceful. Close everything. Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. <laughs> All the living Sorry. and all the dead are holding you up. Now, stand. They're still there, aren't they? Yeah. It's time to move. To entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. Hmm. Well, this is really a secluded village. Up in the mountains. And just so you can just stop and just have a moment wherever you want and just chill. I love those kind of games. Just to have a world to hang around in, you know? I can. Oh, I, what do we have here? I can pick my bicycle. Bicycle? Bicycle? Can I pick my own? Pate fixed up three bikes instead of one. Take another moment here. Let's take, take a bike. Oh, we can pick our bike. We're gonna go with blue. I hope you're gonna enjoy this series with me, because I'm really enjoying this so far. This is going to be a relaxing series, so just take your time and enjoy this together with me. Wow. Maybe, I mean, we are leaving home.
path out of Cairo. I mean, yeah, let's put it like that, we're leaving. Sorry. How do I... There we go. Let's go, guys. You can just drag your bike if you want to. But let's go. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Such a different game. I love this. I'm gonna play a bit longer. I'm gonna keep this videos around 40 minutes, I think. But I want to just have an introduction to the world. You can just... Can we even go here? There we go, there we go. What is this place? So much to explore! Let's pick it up, yeah, let's do that. I can see in these letters that the outside world has extremes of beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. Oh, a letter? I'd be surprised if this letter reaches you that war has become like a deranged sleeper trashing in bed. Let's leave the letter there. They were right. The letter never made it. The season before this one, the war, seems so horrible. Well, what did we know about the season before here? I guess we're gonna learn as we go along. I want to collect everything and look at everything. I want you to. Check it out yourself. I wish humans had evolved to sing instead of talk. I like how we have, you know, um, like a way of interact with everything, everything. Let's go. Oh no, okay, I thought we could go here. Can we just take a moment to... We can take a moment to chill. <laughs> Next time I record a video for this, I'm gonna have a cup of tea with me. <laughs> we need moments like this. 
not just in games, but in life. Moments of your silence. Okay, let's see where we can go. Where am I supposed to go? Can I... Oh, down here, here, here. Okay, let's go. There's so many... Uh, I want to play this off camera as well. I'm gonna go back... When we have finished up this game, I'm gonna go back and just explore this world even more off camera. Because I feel like... I want to progress the game due to the fact of the story. And it's a playthrough. But still, damn, look at this. Yeah, it's much easier to play with a controller, by the way. I think we're actually gonna end it here. For now. We're gonna end it there. Hope you are as excited for this as I am. I think it's a beautiful game. It's not for everyone. But for you that enjoy this kind of slow-paced, relaxing game th uh, gameplay and playthrough together with me and explore this game, what it has to offer, I hope to see you soon. I'm gonna record a few videos and yeah, see you soon. Never ever forget to stay awesome. To the loop.